Right to that young woman who kicked her way into history, the first woman to get a shot at going to the NFL, except she didn't do very well. Yeah, uh, her kick was, some say, a setback for all women. ABC's Juju Chang is here with the escalating controversy. Juju. Hey, Amy. Well, you know, it was supposed to be one small kick for Lauren Silberman and one giant leap for womankind. Instead, it turned into a painful moment in women's sports that went viral and blew up with the age-old question, can women ever make it to the big leagues? It was the kick heard round the world, which landed with a thud. Make that two thuds. 28-year-old Lauren Silberman's hopes of being the first woman in the NFL fell so far short, she became fodder for comedians. Well, there she is, uh, kicking the football, and um, she, <laughs> she did not make the NFL. Some questioned if Silberman, a former soccer player who'd never played football, had any business trying out for the NFL, even though she'd scored the tryout with this impressive field goal at a Super Bowl fan event. But the average NFL place kick, 41.8 yards. Silberman's attempt, drifting 19 yards, then just 13. The minute I kind of touched the ball, my quad, I could just feel like tense up and hurt. It was really painful. My heart sunk into my stomach when I saw the kicks. This is not good for, for Lauren. It is not good for, for any of us. Katie Nida is among the most qualified women in football. She started in high school, played college ball, and became the first woman to ever score in a Division I game. She even played pro football in the Arena League. Nida worries that Silberman's injury-plagued performance may have set back the cause of serious female kickers who fought long and hard for years to be taken seriously. Not having the kicking experience is, is huge, and I think it is maybe a bit presumptuous. And she's not the only one to feel that way. The Twitter sphere erupted with heated reactions. Disgrace to female athletes, says one woman. And will the real female kicker send us your stats? This is not representative of how women can be great athletes. But others say not so fast. She didn't have a good day, but does it impact women's sports? Not at all. Now, you should know Lauren Silberman declined our invitation to discuss the backlash, but ironically, by going viral, she may have ushered in a new tidal wave of interest. As for Katie, I asked her if she might consider trying out for the NFL, and she said she's gotten so many intriguing inquiries, but she was so humble, she was quick to point out that there are other college players who are at that level and who can compete. Right. I mean, didn't she, didn't she kind of choke a little? She had that better kick, right? Yeah, she had an injury, she said, and, right. and Katie told me that it looked like she hadn't worn up properly yeah. and the lack of experience really shows. I understand the controversy but I did kind of feel bad for oh, her. Yeah. I felt bad for her but I don't think she should have tried out. Yeah. I think you're right. Yeah. All right.